Because of the rise of, um, uh, let's say, new therapy options, we see that uh, the, the, the demand on the pathologist is really increasing. So the task for the pathologist becomes more difficult and also um, well, they have to do more. Um, at the same time, what we see is that budgets are not increasing. So it means that there is really some kind of contradiction there. Digital pathology is really a very good tool because it allows for more efficient workflows. Computational pathology will bring that one step further. It can really help streamline the, the, the workflow of the pathologist and well, help them to focus on the things they're really good at and taking away some of the I'll say, more burdensome stuff of screening and looking at slides that are not of interest. So I think that could be a very big help for pathologists to really well, deal with the, the increasing demand. From studies we have seen that, for instance, for uh, lymph nodes, um, very small metastasis, micrometastasis, that can easily be missed by a pathologist, can actually be picked up by a computer algorithm and well, presented to the pathologist. Deep learning is a, is a new technique. Uh, last five years it has been developed. Um, and deep learning is actually a very powerful technique in the sense that it's, it's a very general technique that you can use to, um, to identify patterns. You have enormous amounts of tissue slides. One slide contains a lot of information, so that is really big data. And um, the deep learning algorithms that we develop in our group, we show that we can really benefit from this large amount of data by building systems that are, in some areas, as good as pathologists. So the system is trained with a lot of examples. You showed, for instance, examples of cancer versus normal tissue. You give it thousands of examples, hundreds of thousands of examples. And at some point, the system really learns to differ differentiate between the, the tumor and the normal tissue. Uh, one of the things we focus on is prostate biopsies. Prostate biopsies, they occur in, in, in large numbers. We get them, many of those. Uh, for one patient, it can go up to 10, even up to 20 biopsies for one patient, and we cut multiple sections of one biopsy, which means that the pathologist has to review anything between 20 and 50 slides for the presence of cancer. And it is known that finding cancer in, in prostate biopsies is not the easiest task. Right? You really need a good pathologist to do that. So that is a perfect candidate for computational pathology. Um, and um, what we try to do is we try to build an algorithm that can automatically pre-scan the, the sections and find the cancer. And then in the second step, you can just offer to the pathologist what the computer has found, and the pathologist can focus only on those areas that the, that the uh, computer has selected as being suspicious for cancer. And what we found was that we are very good at detecting the tumor, actually to such an extent that if we want to have a perfect sensitivity, which means that we do not miss any tumor, so we, if we take a new sample that was not included in our training data, we give it to the computer, then uh, we can have a sensitivity of well, pretty much up to 100%, which means that if there is a cancer, the computer will find it. And at the same time, we can rule out, uh, well, let's say, some one-third of the slides. So the computer can surely predict that one-third of the slides do not contain cancer while not missing any of the cancers. I think there are a couple of important steps to be taken. So I think you have to prove that it's safe, but also that it's making your life more efficient. And of course, I would hope that we can prove at some point that it's also more accurate. I believe that computational pathology needs to be seamlessly integrated in the workflow, where the information that is generated by computational pathology is there at the moment the pathologist needs it. Philips uh, can play a major role in bringing computational pathology to the market uh, because it has a very good offering for digital pathology. That offering is scalable, highly performant. Uh, is based on a platform that is ideally suited to embed computational pathology.